combos by Falco. I don't know how how secure Falco's combo game is on Luigi. Because I'd, I'd actually be really interested to see what, uh, what Karma does for the mix-ups in between. Uh, I always find... Uh, I've got one, one Luigi main who I get to play against often. And I always find that the most fun I have in that I lose the combo game is like the mix-up game after the combo game's been destroyed by that man. You know, making him wait until the very end to throw it in air, not throw in air, wave land. Oh. Mix-up's fun. Oh. Hey, can you Marth Killer Luigi's up E? Can you Marth Killer Luigi's up E? Yeah, he totally can. He can go over it, but there's not too much you can do from there. I don't think you can do anything there. You can still sweet spot it. It's just like really hard to Okay. This is the Waveland, no punish. Only on a good side. Sliding forward with the tilts. Uh, takes back center stage. I don't like doing this play by play normally, but. Uh... Oh, Nair to Shuriken. Oh my goodness. Oh, misses the grab. Or rather, gets the spot dodge in, but. He's fishing for those dares on the ledge. I don't think he's going to fast forward to the ledge. I don't think he's going to play with it. I think you're honestly just putting out risk at that point. Good back air, couple lasers, maybe seal it. No, recovery too good. Nice shine bear, fantastic work. Wesh bowsh? Oh, tilt that, no. Uh, down tilt would KO to this percent, I think. Oh, that was great platform game. He had that call, had the read, but he fast fell off the ledge. After grabbing it, a little bit of mess up on the tech. Oh, and he returns the favor, Karma. Just spaghetti. Mmm, spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, actually, he, he does need to work on his edge guard game for sure. One of my friends literally just pissed me off. I always switched to Pete. Definitely one of those matchups that can frustrate you if you're not playing it properly to begin with. Should have the read on that. Nope. Rolls way too early. That's alright. He's getting caught up in the jabs. Great shield pressure, but switches up from the jab pressure to a grab. Doesn't capitalize off of it, gets bared off. Bared again. Luigi will live that. Great DI going on here. 149 and living. Yep, and Luigi's back. Nice, well done. No stocks for free, that's what we like. Yep, again the jab the jab pressure is just too much right now. No not how we like to see those games end, but uh Monib, is that how it's pronounced? Munib. Unib is uh, definitely applying a lot of pressure that he's not capable of dealing with right now. Just sliding in there, getting those jabs right on shield, and then mixing up between sliding into grabs. Uh, Karma's not really doing a good job at punishing out of shield. What character might, might I ask you to play? Falco? Yeah. How's the Falco Luigi matchup? Give me some, uh, I don't know too much about it. Okay. Okay. Please. Um, okay, talking about the Falco Falco Luigi matchup. Um, Luigi's goals in this matchup are usually to. Well, I mean, he could. A good Falco will be good at stuffing a, uh, a Luigi's grounded game entirely. 
because Luigi really has crazy mix-ups with wave dashes, but Falco has a lot of grounded and aerial broken hitboxes that should be able to stuff everything Luigi tries to go for. So realistically, in an ideal matchup scenario where Falco is doing the grounded game correctly, Luigi, Luigi's realistic goals are probably going to be like to get crazy wave land platform mix-ups. So you'll see Luigi like jumping up to the side platforms, wave landing off and throwing out an aerial like that, right? Um, Mm -hmm. And depending on how Karma reacts to that, Moni may try to event then like start changing up his ground game, just while Karma is like potentially Ooh! not there. Shines off the top at third. Right? Like this is this is what I'm saying. There's no reason why Luigi should be able to do very much in this matchup. Falco just takes all the advantages. He, uh, the only reason Luigi can can kill can do well in this matchup is either a lucky gimps, because um, Luigi is quite a good gimping character, especially in this matchup. Um, uh, or I guess like actual death combos because Luigi can death combo Falco. It's just like yeah, everybody has tricky. combos on fast fallers. You yep. know, it's just all about following a tech chase really well. The money definitely seems like the kind of player who he's good. He's a very good player. Yeah, he's, he's, he's on our PR right now. I, I'm very sure he is. I I thought he was I thought he was ranked uh, eight, I believe. Yeah, eight or eight or nine. Not bad. Yeah. Good for him. Um. I've been noticing that uh, Monib's been stuffing Karma a lot with just like wave wave dash into jab. Yeah, so like at that I point, Karma has to start stuffing the approaches, right? Like this is this is it. Is there's basically you have to break this matchup down very similar to how I like to break down the Puff matchup, mm -hmm. which is on the ground and in the air. Because if you have Luigi on the ground, you sort of have full reign and full advantage. And Karma, what he's doing now is he's approaching with Nair, and that's not the smart thing. Luigi's not a good character for many reasons, and the big one is, is that he just can't go in on Falco if Falco just stands there. So, in, like, again, you'll see a lot of lasers, cancel game, lasers right? stuff everything Luigi has to do, first of all. And, like, if you mess Luigi up with his wave dash timings with lasers, you get tons of free approaches for that. Um, but then also stuffing, stuffing his approach with up tilt and back airs, I think, is very strong. Oh, that was nice. Got the jab to mess up his tech timing, mess up a bunch of things, and actually got the grab off of it. Uh, Karma could have DI'd out, but... Hasn't been. Not, not that time. Um, one thing I would love to see Karma do more is grab. Um, grabbing is very strong against Luigi. You see just now, like, for example, he had Luigi in the corner, and he just wave dashed out. It's like, okay... Yeah. But you're playing against Luigi, and you have him in the corner, so... The question is, is, like, without getting, like, wrecked by his Waveland matchups, how do you beat him while you have him in the corner? And really, laser grab is a great option. And if you, like, get him to assume you're going to laser grab, suddenly you have, like, all kinds of answers. Like, he'll jump out, and then you can just react with, like, a back air or something. But you still have him in the corner, and that's the important part. Yeah, I suppose uh, Karma hasn't really set a strong foundation yet for... Uh, Ooh, almost got another channel. ...for this matchup, or, like, Monib's reactions. Yeah, I mean, this matchup is, like... I, I, he, Karma's probably not used to playing it, first of all. Um, oh, oh, that was it. Oh, oh, that was so close. That was so... Yeah, that was really close. 55%. That was, yeah, that was a great combo. Yeah, I know. I thought it was it. That's hilarious. Tight game, but again, Karma should make a point to not approach. There's the grab. I don't like down throw of all throws, but... No, he scooped an up smash off of him last match, uh, and I think he felt like it was a good idea, but... Uh, nah. Throw mix-ups are pro, but... Uh, down throw is usually not the best option. You just want to like. Unfortunately, Falco's throws aren't Falco's throws aren't nearly as ridiculous as Fox's, um, but you can work with them like very much so. Um, back throw is a crazy tr like a uh, mix up, and if the DIN, it's usually a free punish or a free kill even. Up throw usually, if nothing else, gets them in the air, which is like huge. Um, yeah, there's a little sweaty going on on the screen right now. They're both kind of slipping and sliding and just looking for a free opening, but they're, neither of them are finding it. That was pretty close. Wow, almost killed him with a shine, eh? Yeah, green is right. Do it. Green is right. You could wave dash and shield to get around lasers. Um, and if you, if you could, like... Act, but see, it's all about the timings, right? So if Falco has the timings advantage, he'll be able to, like, consistently stuff Luigi's, like, wave dash attempts because he'll be, like, stuck in the wave dash and relatively unable to shield. Um, but if the Luigi has Falco's laser timings down, then he'll have the advantage being able to wave dash in and stuff his lasers before they maybe even come out, or you can get under them if the Falco's not good. Anyways, um, this is one all. FD is the counter pick, yeah. So clearly Karma didn't ban FD, and this is what I was talking about. Is I said I wonder if I should go, should have went FD in this matchup, because I, I had two very close games with Monib, and I did feel like I could have like taken it. And I, I wonder if FD is, is a good choice in this matchup. Now I knew Luigi does have a chain grab on, on Falco, mm -hmm. um, but is that enough merit to like really 
bringing a Spacey to this stage where they can like control you on the ground, which is exactly what I was talking about before. Is Moni was so good at his like uh, platform movement that um, that going to FD I feel like is going to put him at a bigger disadvantage because Karma is going to do an okay job at like just stuffing his approaches. But maybe maybe he's okay with this because Karma hasn't been doing a phenomenal job at stuffing Luigi's approaches because he's been mindlessly not mindlessly approaching but approaching unsafely. Yeah, I, I think that's all very fair to say. I, again, with the down throw, just like normal, being too effective. Stuff in the laser finally with the power shield. That's nice. Uh, but it seems like when he was quite a bit more comfortable chase. with him. Yeah, he was going for the shrook in there, I think. Yeah. FB, but he's just uh, a little too slow on it. Well, it doesn't look to me that Karma's uncomfortable. He's just confused. And the answer is you have to put up more of a defensive wall. Is uh, like that? Like, see, that's pretty smart. Just trying to stuff Luigi's approach. But there was again, he approached and lost for it. I was good closing in on Luigi's space, but again, he, he committed a little bit too much, and Moni got the punish on it. <laughs> it's funny. I know Karma's going to go back and watch this. I hope I'm helping. <laughs> I'm probably not. No, that's okay. It's not about help. It's about the stream. It's about the stream. It's about having fun. It's about all you folks listening to us over the internet. This should be an easy edge guard, but no, rolls too early. Uh, he's not hes not respecting the double jump at all. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hold on that's, the, that's the beauty of it, is you, you yeah. kind of don't have to respect much, you just have to chill back. Yeah. Just wait for it to happen, but yeah. he, he's not. Oh, there it is. Strong back air. Well spaced. Nair nice grab. grab. Nice. Oh, Tried to go for the misfire combo, <laughs> but no dice. That's confident, though. Yeah, and he's got a he's got a pretty comfortable advantage. Um, this is losers, so it is the end of the tournament. Last game for each of these people, players. Uh, potentially the last game of the tournament for both these players. Yeah, potentially. Sorry, is what I meant to say. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Oh, kind of down aired. He was invincible. Um, yeah, maybe just Luigi Killer. There we go. Throw up E. He tried that against me and missed, but there it is. Yeah, I don't think Karma DI'd enough for it, or yeah. DI'd enough to get out of it. I'm trying another shield, but you're not going to get anything off that at this percent. I don't know why Karma's not another DI'ing out. He hasn't really been trying to follow up with back airs or fares at all off the up throws. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, I don't know why he hasn't just switched to hard DI in them. But Makes sense. I don't know, maybe he's got a reason I don't know. It totally could be a thing. Yeah, good point. Good job with the timings there by Karma, but here's the punish from Moni. Yeah, great. Forward throw instead of up throw. There's the up throw. Yep. There's the chain. Chains. Oh, oh. trying to get the double dash dance up B, which actually would have been so sick, but no dice. Very close. Oh, no. That's a Luigi stock gone. Luigi's edge. Luigi's recovery is not to be respected that much. Like a little, but not that much. In its own time, in its own time and place, yeah, to definitely. be respected, but definitely for the most part, you yeah. can't, you can't like respect Luigi that much. You just have to like use your broken moves to kill him over and over. 